There is yet again a disgraceful attempt to try to uh, remove the citations of soldiers for their service in Afghanistan. Martin Hamilton Smith is a man who is well and truly associated with the SAS and he is one of its association chairmen and joins us now. Martin, uh, we've been down this road before where they've tried to take them away and then we thought that things were resolved and we'd have to wait for sanity to prevail. There's been a change of government. Is it the change of government that's given the opportunity for the brass to come back and have another crack? Uh, yes, Paul, I think that's right. Um, this whole alleged war crimes, um, allegations, the whole process has been mishandled by successive governments and by the current Chief of Defence Force, General Campbell, terribly. He tried this uh, under the previous government. Uh, the then Defence Minister Peter Dutton threw it straight back at him and obviously identified it was, it was not on. He's trying it on with the new government and we'll have to see how Minister Miles handles it. Uh, I'd be very surprised if the government doesn't quickly realise uh, this is a poison chalice, but we'll have to wait and see. You know, this war was a very messy war. Um, Australian governments asked our SAS soldiers, firstly, they were overused. They didn't send main force elements. They sent the SAS, a few hundred men, over and over and over. It was, it was soul-destroying work, going into villages in the middle of the night with a list of names of people to kill or capture. The argument is that some people might have been killed when they should have been captured. Let's, let's let the courts sort that out. But until then, we shouldn't be taking anyone's medals away or well, punishing them. Yeah, I mean, I mean you, you served in a Labor government in South Australia as the Veterans Affairs Minister. Before that, you were in the SAS for the best part of 24 years. Um, you know what you're talking about here. Nobody wants citations on people that have done the wrong thing, but doesn't the wrong thing have to be proven before you remove the citation? Well, you're dead right, Paul. You know, what, what we're doing is punishing people uh, before we know the full facts. You know, the whole matter was mishandled from, from years back. You know, this trial by accusation... People made some accusations that some lines had been crossed, perhaps some people had been killed who should have been captured. This happens in war, particularly a, an undeclared mess of a war like Afghanistan. And it's good these issues were raised and we support the fact that they're getting an airing. But um, this trial by accusation, let, let the accused put their side of the story. Let's get to the truth. And then if General Campbell wants to raise issues after that, well, fine. But he, he's jumped the gun here. You know, the... The Anzacs of Afghanistan deserve the same respect as the Anzacs of World War One, World War Two, and Vietnam. I thought we learned the lesson of Vietnam to treat our veterans with a bit of respect. These soldiers, all of the people who served in, in Afghanistan, de deserve this nation's heartfelt thanks. And what the CDF is doing is really diminishing their legacy. It's very, very silly. And if, if the current government doesn't see that, well... Heaven help us. Let's keep talking. Uh, Martin Hamilton Smith's website is his name with a .com into it. I'll make sure it's up on our socials. Read more about it. Thank you, Martin. Do appreciate it and appreciate your service to the country. Thanks Quick break. Back with more. Exactly.